Hey everyone, and welcome back to day six of our Command 66 Day Challenge. We're going to start focusing on the different apps in Command, and so today we are going to start talking about the Contacts app. We know that your database is your business, and so managing that database and nurturing those relationships is something that's really important. And in Command, this is where you're going to be able to do all of that in one place. So let's click on the Contacts app on the home screen here. <clears throat> So this is what you'll see when you initially open up the Contacts app. It might be empty if this is your first time visiting this part of Command. You might have a couple contacts you've added if you came to a Take Command class, or you might be someone who has already imported all of your contacts from your previous CRM to Command, so you might have a lot of people in here right now. <clears throat> we are going to just talk a little bit about what it looks like to add an individual contact in Command. And then I'll tell you the couple different ways that you can go about getting your um, system uh, in command, you know, from your, your previous CRM that you've been using. So if we're going to add a new contact to command, you'll navigate to the top right of your screen and you'll click on add contact. And these are the different fields that <clears throat> you're going to see populate. So one thing you want to think about is what do you consider a full contact? Generally speaking, most people consider name, email, phone number, and address to be that way. And I think that's a really important way to look at it because those are all important pieces of information that you are going to need to contact them. And especially that address is really important to have with command because command is really looking at real estate at that neighborhood level and not just that zip code level. So knowing where someone lives is going to really help you effectively target and communicate with them. So <clears throat> when you're in here, you're able to choose their preferred method of contact. These different stages here are part of the MREA2 model that they're still developing. Captured is someone who you just have their information, but you haven't had um, <clears throat> two-way communication with them yet, really. You're kind of maybe sending them campaigns, but they're not um, really plugged into that communication. Connected would be someone that you are connected with, that they are responding to phone calls or emails or any, any communication like that. And then qualified is going to be somebody that is um, likely to transact with you within the next probably 90 days. You've got lead sources here. Um, it's got some that you'll see on here. There's a current glitch where you can't scroll on that, but you could start typing if it was something like Zillow and you'd be able to select that. Um, I believe that uh, yard sign or maybe lawn sign is one that's in here. They are actively working on being able to create your custom lead sources in there. So that's really important to keep in mind. System tags are those tags that uh, when they were developing command, they really said, okay, pretty much every agent uses something like this to organize their database. So they uh, created these system tags in here. And then custom tags is what we looked at a couple of days ago where you can really get specific with how you want to organize your database. And this is where you would add a tag to someone that you've already got in command or that you are putting in there for the first time. You've got a description field, so you can write anything about um, them that would help you connect with them. One thing that Command really focuses on is that more human connection with your database. So we know that there are so many people that you have in here and you're only one person. And so being able to remember everything about a person is hard. And so um, this is really what's going to help you um, hone in on that. This is where you'll put that address. Again, I can't um, stress enough how important having addresses for people is in um, the new marketing campaigns that you're going to be able to do inside Command because knowing where they live is really going to be so valuable. You've got a space for their birth date. The relationship field is where you're going to be able to connect things like spouses um, inside of Command. So you could choose spouse here and then type in the name of a contact that you already have in Command and connect the two of them together. But you're also able to do any other type of relationship that you see here. So you can really connect everyone together so that when you're looking in this contact as you're lead generating, you know who's who and, and you've got all those names and, and everything like that. 
you can link their social media accounts. So if you are friends with them on Facebook, you could pop that URL in here. And before you go to make a call to them, you could click on the link in their profile and visit it really quick and maybe see you know, what they've been up to lately. So you've got some things to reference in your conversation. Um, it's so important, you know, when someone, um, it feels like they're paying attention to you. And so that's what you want to really give to them. You've got a company name and job title here, so you can input that type of information. And then you've got a box for transaction time frame. So um, if they are somebody that you know is looking to transact this year, you've got uh, options for that in here. And then home anniversary date is a field that they'll have in here too. So if they've bought a home with you or anything like that, then you've got that field to put in here. And then at the bottom is where you can put in those custom fields like we created last time. So in that drop down menu, I could choose wedding anniversary and then I could choose that date in here. And then that way, um, when their anniversary rolls around, I could have a campaign generated that could send them a quick you know, email e-card for happy anniversary or something like that. And then when you've got all of that entered, you'll hit create and they'll be added to your database. So that is how you can add an individual contact in command. If you are wanting to import your contacts from your database, depending on what you've been using, if you use eEdge or Top Producer, different ones like that, that you have the option to export to a spreadsheet, this is going to be the most reliable way to um, get your contacts in here. There is an eEdge connection inside of settings, but there's been a lot of room for error with that. And so what they found is the most accurate way is to download this pre-made CSV that's going to have your different columns for you. So you can download this here and this is what you'll get. I actually don't want mine to open up in numbers. I want it to be in Excel. So what you would do is take the CSV that has been downloaded from your current system and you'll copy the data into these individual fields. This is something that will be a little bit of a project, but I'll be happy to help you with that. If you want to sign up for a one-on-one, -on -one, I can answer any questions about that. I've done this with a couple people so far and it has worked really well and it's been awesome to get all their contacts into command. The other option you have is inside of the settings. If you click on your name and click on settings where we visited quite a few times before, you can use PySync. I scrolled past it. Um, so PySync you can use to connect from 150 plus different applications. So maybe dot loop contacts or iCloud contacts or Google contacts, anything like that. You can do a a one-way or a two-way sync in there. So a one-way sync would allow you just to pull those contacts from your phone into command. And then if you make any changes in the command, it wouldn't affect the contacts in your phone already. Um, or you can do a two-way sync where when you change it in command, it's gonna change it on your phone. So I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have about PySync or direct you to some resources to kind of give you some more details about that. But um, that is kind of the lowdown on contacts. So I would love to see you guys add some manual contacts in command just so you can get familiar with the fields that you have in there. And then if you, um, you know, feel ready to start moving some people from your database and you'd like someone to kind of sit with you through that process, I'll be happy to do so. But that is it for day six of our command challenge. Thanks for watching.